my goodness, we're back with another hair video. Hi guys. I did this like really curly hair the whoa. Talk about body yaddy yaddy. Stop. I did some really curly hair the other day and you guys asked me on Instagram for a video on it. I thought, okay, I can do that. I'm using this T3 wand, it's the smallest barrel that it came with. It came with three barrels. That's the wand that I'm using today. And so you're gonna take your fingers and I kind of go like right above my ears and section that part off. So it's most of your hair. You just have this small amount in the back. And I'm going to grab a piece that's this big. I don't want it too big. I don't want it too small, but you don't want to grab super large pieces or you're not going to get the curl that you're looking for. And I start at the root and I just twist all the way around. Normally I like to leave the very ends of my curls out, but for this look, I, try, I curl almost to the very tip and then I hold like the very, very tip out. And I'm just going to go like this, pull it for like one, two, three, four, let it drop. And you have this spirally curl. I do all my curls different ways. I'm gonna show you how I curl it right up at the front here because that's a totally different ball game. For the ones underneath, I don't care too much about getting super close to the root just because it lays underneath and it doesn't matter. And if you don't curl all the way to the root anyways, that still leaves you with a little extra length, which is nice, especially for the bottom row. For those of you who know me, if this isn't like your first video of watching me, so I was blonde for seven years. You guys, I've been thinking about going blonde again. I'm not going to, oh, but oh my gosh. I've been seeing so many pretty blondes. I would never go platinum silver blonde again just because that was too much work and I'm over it. But I found this really pretty like honey blonde. Oh my gosh, I was staring at it for so long today. See, pull, one, two, three, four. We're gonna leave it like this until the end. You'll see why, I mean, I don't, this doesn't look cute right now, but just trust me on this. Careful of your ears, careful of your ears. I will say the only thing about this is it's gonna take you a little bit longer. I think this takes me in total maybe about 25 minutes because I take smaller pieces. My favorite part about this look too is that the curls kind of fall a little bit throughout the day and then the next day I get to do a really cute curly bun. <gasps> You know when you're little, when I was a little kid, I had like those spiral curls at the end of my hair? That's what it reminds me of and I just think it's so, so pretty. I think that's the magic number. Hold for six, drop for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, pull, one, two, three, four. Yes, look at that. By the time this video goes up, it'll be August. It's my birthday month, you guys. I turned 28 at the end of this month, at the end of August, August 31st. I cannot believe it. 28 feels like a woman, like a woman. I love it so much. I'm excited. I was excited for 27 too. I know that this year has been very strange, but I feel like it's been such a blessing. So I'm really grateful for this year of my life, to be honest with you. So I'm really, really excited to see what 28 brings. And this is the thing too with this style. I've done this style on every length of my hair. Even when I had shoulder length hair, I did it. So far, so cute. I'm not gonna leave the curls again. Just trust me. This is my pet peeve. When girls curl their hair and they leave it like this, I'm like, <gasps> I wanna run my fingers or like shake my fingers in their scalp and shake them all out so fast. Right now, it's been 12 minutes. Look at that. See, maybe it doesn't take me as long as I think. If you grab bigger chunks of hair though, just make sure to hold it a little longer. But how have you guys been? What have you guys been up to? I hope that you guys are doing well. I miss you guys so much. I have felt a little disconnected. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know why, but I have felt a little disconnected recently. I tried to film for the last three days, you guys, and I just couldn't figure out anything that I really wanted to do. And then everybody on Instagram was asking me for this, and I was like, oh, perfect. I can totally do that. So that made me feel good to know that there was something you guys wanted to see from me, and now that I'm sitting in front of the camera, it feels really, really good. And I'm wondering if any of you are creatives or do any, you know, whatever you do, and um, whenever you feel like stuck or have a little bit of burnout or, you know, whatever you're getting antsy or bored. I also feel like it's this year though. Do any of you feel that way? I think because there's so much like going on and so much like we can't do just because of lockdown and quarantine and whatever. It feels very strange. So I think that's why I'm also feeling I just feel antsy, like I just wanna go do things, you know? Because I've had that feeling of just being antsy and whatever, it's caused me to feel a little bit of just like, ugh, burnt out. So sitting here and filming something that I actually really love, 
feels really, really good. So you guys were honestly a blessing to me today and didn't even know it. The only thing is like, see these baby hairs of mine? They kind of live their life how they want. Besides that, I hope that you guys are finding the light in your everyday and are, you know, having a good time where you're at and taking care of yourselves and surrounding yourself with people that you love and I hope that you're taking care of you and do, ow, I burnt my scalp just now. And doing the things that, you know, are going to make you feel better and improve every single day. That's something I've been really trying to do is just focusing on, you know, becoming a better version of me. Even if it's just a little tiny step every day, that's something. I feel like right now is the perfect time to work on yourself and do that because there's no other distractions. I'm gonna do more of these curls and I'll come back for the very top layer. Okay guys, this is what my hair looks like right now. Shirley Temple. All right, now this is the very top layer and this is the part that I feel like is the most important. So I split it down the middle like normal just so I can evenly curl, but then I split it again. So I have like these very thin layers, but I make them a little thicker. But when I curl these, you guys, I'm not curling one certain way. I'm kind of curling them all over. So we can just go like this. I mean, with this one, I could curl it towards the front because when I wear my hair curly like this, I like to flip flop it. I feel like it looks better when you're running your fingers through your hair, wearing it one way, the other way, just kind of letting it be, you know, all over the place. I don't necessarily think it's the cutest part of down the middle, at least on me anyway. Um, I feel like it looks kind of bulky on my head when I do that. I feel like this allows the curls too when you're like running your fingers through your hair like how I do it. I just like flip flop this way, then this way. I'm always flipping my hair around. I feel like it allows the hair to kind of be more free, if that makes sense. Here's the curlies. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put my head down, I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna shake at the root. Not through the hair, just at the root. Flip. There you go. There's the curls. Favorite hair in the land. I hope you guys enjoy. They're super easy. You can hairspray it if you want. I don't just because I like it to feel the most. I don't know. I like to see how it naturally falls. I just feel like it looks beautiful without it. But if you want to add texture spray or hairspray, you can totally do that. But yeah, that's how easy it was. Super easy. Just need a curling wand and your hair in a little bit of time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Me and my curls are going to go take some photos. But yeah, I love you. Have a wonderful day. If there are any other hair tutorials you would like to see from me, make sure to let me know. All right, guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.